Hey everyone, welcome to the latest dev stream. I'm here with Alex, Jesse, and Greg. Hello. We uh, this week just kicked off the second design challenge for uh, for the editor in the Endless Mission, and it's entitled "Off to the Races." Uh, all the details for that are available on our Discord as well as on our Steam page in your library as well. Um, so what we'll be doing today is we'll be going through and building some submissions on our own and showing you some tips and tricks on how to do it. Um, to give you a little context about the design challenge itself, there's a couple things that we'll be doing. So we'll be starting with the racer template that you can access in the editor and uh, swapping out and bringing in uh, a one of a number of different uh, kind of prefab tracks that we've put together uh, in there and then kind of redecorating and mashing up the set using uh, assets from the different genres so uh, crazier the better which is what we will be doing today Alrighty. so uh, I guess let's get let's get started a little bit here and uh, yeah. we fire up the the editor and you can see all the different templates we have here so we'll start with the uh, with the racer template to begin and take it away yeah, yeah so here we'll uh, here we go perfect all right Want to pick up a little bit for us? Yeah, this is our racer template we built. Um, you can get here either just by opening up the editor like Eric described, or if you hit new up there in the corner, you'll see all the templates up there. Um, so we picked racer to start off with. It kind of starts you with just a basic oval track um, and uh, like eight racers, I think, including the, uh, the player avatar there. And basically the start and finish line, since it's an oval track, it's just one. So it's a start and finish line, I believe. And then uh, I have a couple extra elements there in the background just for, you know, um, aesthetics. And uh, what's that? It's a totally picture of you. Uh, no, it's not a picture of me. Now we can have that conversation. That <laughs> is a picture. That's, that's Jesse. Last time. It is Jesse. Um, <laughs> it's Canon. His name is Duncan. Uh -huh. um, Jesse Duncan. That's my so dog's name. That's what? <laughs> my dog's name is Duncan. Is it really? Um, Put right. my dog on stream. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, there's a couple of little gameplay elements in here, like there's pickups, just like in our actual racer game. And then I believe there's just a few uh, boost pads, boosting pads. And then that blue line is the kind of trajectory or the spline that the AI racers follow. So yeah, there's like, is there eight and AI racers and then there's a player racer? A seven and a player. Seven and a player. Okay. And to clarify again, the, the splines are built into the tracks, right? So every time someone drops in a new track, all the AI behavior, yep. spline stuff is already built in. Yeah. Players do not have to mess with that at all this time. Yeah. Right. So, so switch track over here, you'll, you'll see down here there are a number of entirely built tracks right here. The ones that are similar down here. Banks, figure eight, hairpin, oval, speedway, straightaway, twists and turns. And you did a search in the library for track, yep. which is an easy way to do it. And those are entities yep. that are available yeah. there and to be dragged yeah. in. Yeah, you can also fill this very thing as well, but you can search for it each way, and there they are all right there. You can go over each one in a minute. Highlight one of those tracks, is it, will it eventually show you a little bit more? No, it, it just shows you the start of the thing. It just the start, okay. yeah. So yeah, we'll have to drag and drop in to actually see what they are. We'll upgrade that in the future, but not, not quite yet. Yeah. yeah. And if you have questions, hop into the chat. Let us know. Uh, we're checking Twitch and Steam chat, so uh, fire away, and uh, we'll be kind of building, working on this. But also, would love to get any of your suggestions for uh, what we're working on. All right. So step one is picking a new track. So we can open up our folders over here, find the gameplay, find the oval track. And we're just going to delete that one. That will delete all the track, the booster, the power, all the stuff on top of that. Okay. Yeah, and we'll add them back in for whatever we want there. And now I need to pick out what's our fair track. Oh, power-ups are not included in that. We can, we can keep those. Yeah, those are, That's fine. Those are separate. Yeah. So we have banks to see what it looks <coughs> like here. We'll drag it out. Kind of wherever you can reposition it afterward. I'm going to go ahead and hide the... So banks, does that actually have, like, elevation changes? Uh, I can't quite tell. Does not. Mm, no. Okay. No. Nope. So it's just like... Very basic little kind of a banking track there on the end there. Nothing too fancy. Uh, what else we got? Figure 8 track. I'm going to guess it's an 8. Oh. Yeah. It's a little up and down. Yeah, but that does have some here. elevation change, oh, right. which is cool. Have you, have you tried this one? I, I kind of want to try this one. Want to try it? Okay, yeah. Well, actually, the first thing is I'll have to race with so you don't follow the track. Except in the one there. you got to mm -hmm. kind of do that, do that by hand in here. This one, over. this one reminds me of a track kit that I had when I was a kid yeah. that had, like, the crisscross kind of the right. figure 8. <laughs> and it definitely had the ton of... Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The elevation with like the over and the under. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, there we go. Not that far off. 
a little more just uh, I can't see the, the handle. That's a great track. And That's right now you're lining up the start with the start of the racers, right? So that way everyone they exactly, start in the correct yeah. position. And if something like that, we can turn this a little bit too. Anything close down there, really get it accurate. Don't want to start front of the line, that'd be bad. That's cheating. That would not be good for your race. Because <laughs> they have to cross that plane to start, right? Right, yeah. So if they're in front of it already, they're, they're, they're not They're an extra lap, that'd be bad. Oh. Would, you think it would be uh, the opposite, you'd have a disadvantage. Maybe it's a little more forward, you'd be more extra room before the start there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Something like that, that should be be playable. Okay. That yeah, that's a little higher, just for accuracy's sake. Sure, let's try it out and see what happens. All right. If they're too high above, will they just, they'll drop down to start? Yeah, they'll drop down, yeah. Okay. So cart selection as normal, you can choose a light, medium, or heavy cart, each of their own kind of stats on how they drive. I always go to medium, nice middle ground there. Win the race, yeah. Yeah, I didn't actually pause. It. I actually stopped. So I can see them drive too. So they're driving around doing their stuff, okay. and we're racing along next to them. Yeah, yeah. I like the elevation changes. Yeah, That's good. Nice. Acceleration there. <laughs> cool. Is that the need to pick up? Oh right. Had some ramps. If you want to have, if you want that one, yeah. If you want to some ramps for shortcuts. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of that track there. <laughs> Back out. Look a couple more. Okay. Yeah. A couple more tracks, okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll at least show them all <laughs> off once, uh, at least visually. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the guide to the design challenge. <laughs> Hairpin track. This is a short track with a very tight turn. Ooh. That's like a 180 right there with a couple of, uh, yeah, qu quite a few hard turns in there. I wonder if you could drift around that. I was going to say, is this one built more for drifting then at that point? Yeah, Would possibly. You can try it. I have to reline up against the track. You can do it, but it takes a little off each track then. Where are the races at? There they are. Over there. Yeah, it's kind of a, a plus it's a line up every single track there. So. Yeah. We'll show a couple of them off. We're going to play through all of them. Yeah. Keep getting into the pivots, like center pivot, right? I think it's always just kind of center, yeah. anyways. I was gonna say because we could we click along the cars and get the location of the car and then put that into the track, but yeah, that's not. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, if it's centered, yeah. He's got to position it. Well, it's to work there. He started, but other than that, track is out of the box work, so it's pretty, pretty close to fully fully function drag and drop. Maybe I'll show a little bit of fine over time, add more, add more tracks and features stuff like that in the future, but that's pretty quick. Hey, power from a track here. I know you can go for them too if they get close enough. Yeah. Grab that one. I'm yeah. fast them. Oh. Yeah, that's much more hairpin track, does yeah. it? Probably the hairpin. All right. <laughs> too soon. Yeah. That's your drifting skill. Yeah. Can't drift now. You know they can just <laughs> jump. <laughs> cold Not slide. yet. This one here. This. Oh. Oh. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no. It's a little tight. Yeah, hairpin turns not my favorite. It's a. Uh, not my skill set of driving on tracks here. Uh, yeah, you don't have the light kind for this. Yeah, I was about to say, that's it probably would be much easiest, better handling yeah. for that one. I use it right here, remember last time? Yeah. Get up here, a little drift on the corner, boost there, follow up boost. Boost. It's hard to tell which one's which. Too easy to shot. I'm not terrible at this. Nope. Now I just start. Oh, he just went off the track. Yep. Did he? Yep. Oh yeah, he went on the dead. Yep. I see him on the main map. Yeah, not for sure. Alright. I'm definitely last anyway. Oh! Uh, oh. Uh, for sure. <laughs> Short cut. Well, I still check it. Which one was that? The hairpin? That's the hairpin. That's, that's uh, pretty extreme. extreme. Yeah. I don't know, is that the kind of race we want to do? Mm. We have. The oh, oval we already said, we'll skip over that one. Far. What's the speedway or the straightaway? Yeah. Straightaway is a very, very simple, start to finish more of a drag race drag style. Race. Oh. A little, a little, a little more uh, mundane. Speedway is one of our bigger tracks here. It's one of the more exciting ones. 
It has nice. quite the. It has a hairpin and the straightaway mm -hmm. and yeah, that's some blue one. Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly, there's no checkpoints down at the end of that. What's going on over there? Yeah, it's just there. Oh, it's, oh, it's in, in the clouds. Oh, it's, it's oh. oh yeah, it's, it's in the clouds over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just a big track. So it's it's a big there. We can be center, of course, put it somewhere a little more. Even while well, it's still off in the clouds, but yeah. that's fine. We can rearrange all that stuff if we need to. I think we can have fun with the figure eight. Mm -hmm. Small enough for us to do something quick. I think yeah. this would be this would take show, us way too long. Show the last one to three, see everything, yeah. and then yeah. we'll move from twists and turns. It's also another large track. So we start with like a new uh, new template here. Uh, yeah, so let's show off the last one here. It's a larger, okay. looping track here. Oh, I like this. Quite a few loop. long, yeah, that's cool long loops and deviations mm -hmm. there, but yeah. mm -hmm. marathon race. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Biggest race <coughs> stuff. That'd be fun. Just do like one lap marathon race kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. So it sounded like to great with a favorite though. Yeah. 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 That's can, a good one. We can reset this for like resetting it. Yes. All right. We'll delete right. the uh, oval track. Oh yeah. Gameplay. Oval track. We so now here's my question. So if you had one of those longer tracks, and you dragged some of the terrain over the spot of the track, but still designed the art to put them on there, they would still follow it technically correctly because they would still be close enough to the spline. You want to have your waypoints above the ground. You want to have them stuck down on the okay. ground. So waypoints so are on the track. You really don't want these these tracks are pre built like this is the track. Uh -huh. You can't really change the track gameplay. Right. You can change what's on the track, you can put boost, power ups, obstacles, all stuff is fine. Change your racer all you want. But these tracks are kind of pre built. If you want to build your own track, that was the last video we had a right. build a fulcrum track from scratch. A lot more detail, a lot more intense, but you can build a lot of custom stuff with that one. This is more of the hey, this track functions just play with the racers and the, and the employees of on the track rather mm -hmm. than building your own from scratch. Quicker, but not as customizable. Okay. Where are we at, racers? There we are. Right. And if the points were too far below <coughs> the terrain, they just won't be able to find it. They would get lost. Like, do we know what happens? Uh, I mean, uh, they'd probably get, they'd be able to get lost trying, trying to get closer to it. They might be close enough to actually get to it, depending on how far down it was. Yeah, that's fair. So not not intended behavior to have your waypoints way away from the track, but to be yep. on the track to guide them how to drive. Yep, yep. So makes sense. Just want to throw some of those thoughts out there in case anyone's trying it, right? And we'll save them some time if there's going to be issues with it. So, yeah. All right. That's All right. the first thing I would <coughs> want to do with one of those long tracks, breaking it up a little yeah. bit more. But yeah, what's the first thing we should do then? Yeah, uh, yeah we have a track. Uh, I'll right. over here while you're thinking about. I'll end up shooting this while we're. Yeah. Uh, what's the first we should save should. our game. Oh. Not a bad idea. I was going to say test yeah. first to make sure just it's working. Case, but yeah. well, just in case mm -hmm. Alex really screws it up. What are we calling this, guys? Um, how about figure eight death stream? I don't know. Sure. Or it's for the challenge, right? Yes. Yeah. Did you say death sh race challenge death stream? And when people are very long doing name, but submissions to this, it's much better for people to go ahead and hit save as. Because if you hit save, yep. you're just yep. going to save a thing that's called racer, and then everyone's going to have one that's called yeah. racer. And we're going to be improving so that in one of the upcoming updates as well. Yeah. Um, but right now, in the meanwhile, if you can, hit save as, type in your own name, save, make life much easier for everyone. Not yep. your personal. Not John huh? Not Great. your personal. That is true. Don't, don't put your personal name. I just want to put Greg's name. That's true. Yeah, everyone call their name, their great name, their game Greg, right? That's what we want to do. Everyone is Greg. Let's toss these on there somewhere so we can have a chance of getting them. Maybe a little bit of reputation there. Make sure they're not floating way up in the air. No, they're pretty good. Probably give them both B from down to B lights there. Okay, Tom said we should have named it Eric for Prez. Eric for Prez. <laughs> All right. I support this. I support it. All right. <laughs> All right, did we do we have to adjust any buildings? Or are we gonna like run straight into a building? I didn't check. We'll find out. Last time we did. Uh, I think I'm turned off though. Uh, oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Real close. Oh, uh, over here might be an issue. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, it's tight. Nice. I made it. They're not gonna make that. They're gonna hit that building and get stuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, no. Oh, they're, get, they're getting through. Oh, wow. Getting through. Look at that. They're, 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 they're right on the edge. Like I did. Look see at them go. They did it. I'm going to fall this time. Kind of got to see them. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they try and avoid obstacles, then. That's definitely an obstacle to avoid. Hey. Either that or have no collision. One of the two. 
If I pop off my coin, maybe both. Let's find out. Here's the no, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. that's, what, that's how you do it. You drive it through it. It's a ghost building. We can it's all fix that for one. <laughs> <laughs> Give it collision. All right, let's back up here. Nice. Let's cool. uh. <laughs> Give it collision. That's a special power up. Ghost. Yeah, yeah, ghost mode. Ghost no collision with anything. Because these are just background elements. Yeah, yeah, we, we can get them out of the way for now. We'll pop them out of the way. Um, is this one here? That's the one we have there? There we go. Are we sticking with the city? This, uh, yeah, we, we can start from scratch or keep this and kind of customize. What do you, what do you, uh, you want to try? Or yes, right? Yeah, Maybe, maybe let's leave a work. little city elements somewhere or we can bring in some other stuff. But yeah, let's, uh, <coughs> let's, let's push the envelope. Let's drive let's through the genres. Yeah. Oh, drive a grand tour. <laughs> yeah, we, ha we have enough of them. You can put like one here, one there, Drive one over the there. Genre, All right, so <laughs> keep the Deathy Wall. It's our own little theme park there. where you can go to the Adventure World. Uh -huh. yeah. so we'll take out these ones. We'll keep the, the wall over there, the Jesse yep. on that one. Sure. Jesse yep. Wall. Yep. We'll, keep, we'll keep our, our Jesse in the air. Yeah, keep them in the air, right? As a monument, too. Yep. Okay. So, what do we want to bring in there? Let's do some uh, platformer stuff. Some more stuff. Okay. okay, we can use the filter and say, "Hey, short yes. genre platform." Yeah, let's do that. I'll put it down a little bit. We can go further if we want. To, if they want to get a rock, we can look for that or or a king do or a rock king. Rock king. Yeah. There's some nice pillars we can put in there. Decoration. There's, uh, there's a lot of fruit mm. in this level. We could do some big palm trees and some big fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look for a tree there. What do we have for trees in here? Palm tree. That's a nice tall tree. Make yeah. it make it huge. Yeah. You can see it. And do pineapples grow on palm trees? I don't they, think so. They do now. They grow up on pineapple palm trees. Yeah. I'm <laughs> oh, more than that. We need to go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. I think we can put this like right in <laughs> there, uh -huh. right in the, in yep. the loop there. I like uh -huh. it. <laughs> well, let's hang it like over the track a little bit. Too. Yes. You turn around like like, like uh, that. Can yeah. Slide it over there. So oh, like that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And this is all to scale because we talked about in the last stream. These racers are <laughs> small. They're not quite that small. This they're is miniature. Yeah. Well, yeah. They are mini they're I, I mini they're miniature. They're not races. the size of a car, but they're not the size of a toy. They're kind of like if someone built their own like robotic kind of. Yeah, we kind of like the size of a cart. We used to Here call is like kind of like a carts. normal sized being, kind Captain of. Blackclaw. <laughs> well, she is not human, obviously, but yeah. she's still a normal size. Yeah. She's pretty Compared small. to a cart, yeah. she's see, yeah. taller than the car is, and, and by far, the car's like longer than she is. Yeah. It's, it's like a, a mini go-kart. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't quite fit in that, but almost. We could have her like, on, on one of the carts at all times, just so you can constantly see the size of it. We could, we could make it one cart into Captain Black Club if we wanted to. That's true. That I think that will be an important. Mm -hmm. let's, that let's will be an important dimension to the Especially the, the fruit first. I okay. get some fruit in there, yeah. right? Um, just type of fruit. We got like, yeah. right through the visuals. That'll work. I'll take that as a visual. It's a visual, so fine. And we could use that as a visual, so if you pick up a power up in that area, it's true. it you would be it a right different visual, time. so like the racer area would have the racer visual, maybe? Help me out the actual visual on the, on the power up thing there? We could do that too, actually, yeah. That's mm -hmm. actually an interesting point. We should be able to do that fine. Let's take one of these guys down here. We're going to we're gonna duplicate a low. Oops, not that one. I want to duplicate the whole, the whole group of them. And we'll pull up through our, our platformer area here. And would that be more or less as simple as just changing the visuals yeah, from those question marks to like a berry or something? Exactly. We'll put that right there. Great. And we'll put in a open that up over there. We have a power ups. Yeah, put in one of those guys yeah. That visual root in there has the actual okay. visuals that is right here. If we just delete that guy, it's just a visual is all it is, not position anywhere in particular. Delete that. Now you can't see it at all. Yeah, and add in a tree. new one, which is probably a little large comparatively. No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not the collision. This is just the visual. So if we want to kill the whole thing, if we can, yeah. but we want to <laughs> the match the collision you first. Right there, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The That's, That's about the right size. Okay. Nice. And then we can do a little. <laughs> this is great. A little, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I should go back there. Check. Don't want to do this thing. Because it's on global so compared to local. Mm. So it has like all the possible options in there. You got the EMP power up, you can see the speed. Oh, and right. Uh, and you can, yeah. So and we talked about that, we can change the weight, yeah. right? I think, I think red fruit, them if what if red fruit only gave you like the boost? The boost, maybe, or something. Because it gives you energy? <coughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we, we can just take out the EMP power. You can up. just delete them out. Yeah, you can delete that out. Uh, delete that out and then they just oh, call in no, here. No, we want, no, we want boost. Oops, oh, that's okay. We, we can pull back in. No big deal. Red, 
fruit. I'll just take one Be of these Kevin. things. Uh, fruit <laughs> there. Be boost. Duplicate that. Bring it back in here. And clear it back out again. No problem at all. Cool. Okay. I built the beam cannon. Yeah. And on here, the randomizer itself, what are the options? We need to tell, hey, your option is that one, and that's it. Cool. Now nice. I have an option. It's speed boost only. Oh, do you need division? Oh, I guess so. We can just duplicate that. Right. And bring it over a little bit. Put two, you know, a couple of them in there. We can do that if we want to. <laughs> I'll say control D and duplicate it faster. You can kind of make a, a little of those things there. I got four little power up there. We can duplicate that if we want to as well. We'll call this our uh, red fruit group. If we want to have four more, we can just duplicate the whole thing now if we want to, and then just have four more back over there. That's a lot of boosting. If you want to. If you want to. Yeah. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll stick with one. So that yeah. big red fruit, now we can kind of decorate that so you know, hey, this is the red fruit part of the level. And we'll start looking for those red fruit, fruit zone. Yeah. Right. Red fruit zone. <laughs> <laughs> you really know what they're coming up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, no questioning there. Hang is hanging right off the branch right there. Yeah. Can we have a hazard where oh, maybe okay. at certain points it falls off the tree and crushes you? <laughs> just starts rolling along yeah. the track. <laughs> yeah. I like you did extreme. Right. That's really funny. <laughs> I think you'll see that when you're heading up there. Just look it's down here. Drive up here. Yeah. And you turn the corner here a little bit. You're like, oh, yeah. head fruit up ahead. Okay, yeah. good to know. That's pretty clear. I no, like no, com no communication problems there. We do have, we do have like a spinner thing. We do. It'll, it'll, we can like have this, this thing rotate. <laughs> uh, I won't look at the as well then, but we can still have it do that and see what it does. Oh. When you turn the corner, like, hey, is that Jesse in the distance? Uh, oh, it is. Turn on, spill it back off again. We don't want to have I was just going to say, are we going to have Jesse power ups on that side then? Yes. Because you okay. saw the Jesse sign, oh, so the other power up should be. Oh, my God. They should be Jesse's. <laughs> what kind of power up is that? Like, the laser one, for sure. <laughs> the super Way down cool there. power. Uh -huh. It's got to be the laser one. It should be one that gives you sunglasses. That's true. Or this. Rotation on the y axis, yeah, that's fine. Speed of one, let's probably make it slow even. A slow yeah. rotation on this thing, and we'll rotate yourself. Is there one that gets Simple it? that. That should cool. function. Let's test all that out. Yeah, let's try that. Oh. It should. saves it. That's, 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 a, that's a temporary save. save. Temporary that's a temporary save. save. Okay. Yeah, hitting play is only temporary save. If you go back out, it'll resume where you were, but that's not a real save. Next one. Just a tent sheet? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh, wait. We drove we in the other direction when yeah. we, we were flying. That's oh, yeah, we were, yeah. we were coming the other that. way. <laughs> it's only power up those jerks. Come back. They, they took them? They went down below. You think they, they, yeah, they, they might have. They got messed up? They might have. Hmm. Right, go around so the track and see. Did the power ups respawn? They should respawn, yeah. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Is it always for this direction? Yes, it is. Yeah. And it's even bobbing down there, too. <laughs> okay, let's take that and then mm. let's go back there and look at that. Let's see what's going on. Whose <laughs> idea was this? I guess make sure that the uh, <coughs> visual is matching up to where the actual object is, and that they're not below the track. It's a good point. It could be something about offset here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That's a little. Well, that's a little bit. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, so the actual top is right there. Yeah. I'll turn that on. What am I there? Oh, I have no new reference. That's a flaw. Across the wrong. Let's leave that one for now. Welcome back to them. Uh, let's do goop down. Let's do that. That's the old goop. Keep that. Yeah, if it didn't have a visual root connection there. That could cause an issue. Cause mm -hmm. issues. Let's Except for that. Is there one floating over there? I don't think so. Okay. Maybe they just started rolling around or going Let's somewhere. save this and try it again. Yeah. <coughs> let's get the first half of one fruit. We can't, we can't miss the boost. To try swapping out the track texture. Oh, yeah. Have that one variation. Come here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, okay. So I need the visual reference. Important to have. Yep. I got the speed boost again. Sweet. Nice. I can boost and I can boost. 
control to use them all now, that one food. <laughs> well, the one power, once you get in front, you get the power if you're in a stand, it's not forever. Yeah. So we're any more than one there, obviously. Yep. But that's fine, just control D and add more. That's great. So there's also a little trick we could potentially do and have, um, I've been thinking about this as well, you could set up a trigger volume that as the the first player that goes through it could then spawn more stuff behind. So potentially the people that are behind could catch up, right? Catch so you the mechanic? Interesting. Right, so you could mm -hmm. spawn more power-ups essentially, like so you activate it, then more power-ups spawn behind you, so the person behind you could catch up the boost thing, they potentially could use the boost, we could we kind of fake a, a yeah, catch-up sort a of code sort of thing. Kind of turn into Santa Claus there a little... Mm -hmm. Gift giving, you know. Yeah, we definitely drive that way, don't we? Though this track is definitely uh, textured backwards for the way that <laughs> it's set up there. Oh, we, we came, no, we came this way, didn't we? Yeah, we came down the hill. That's right. Yeah, yeah we yeah, go yeah. down the hill. Like okay, that. we that's can, fine. We can try that's swapping it out for that other texture. And yeah, there's the red fruit. And there's your okay. area. Okay. okay, we have a texture. That's cool. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. go over here real quick. Make a couple more of these. Let's okay, yeah. dot that off, and then we'll do texture swap. And then we can do a trigger on after that. Okay, so texture swap. Let's go on to your materials here. Uh, yeah. Different versions there. Select the track, figure eight track. Uh, we gotta select the actual. Yep. Right and there. what's the material? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so materials <laughs> is what has the texture on it. It has the the range of different textures. Um, you know, it obviously displays the diffuse of what the the color of the track looks like. It lets okay. you set like a specular texture on there to say how like shiny it is, how it uh, reacts to light and everything like that. And so. Um, yeah, so if you had just like a UI element, you know, that would be looking for just like an image, right? But on 3D models like this track, it's looking for a material that comes with a set of textures. Okay. <coughs> so the textures are already built into the material. So if you find track, and we call it metal because it's kind of designed oh, to good. react to light like metal does. Mm -hmm. So in this, it, this has several different segments. You can see ah, okay. there's like a side, um, the siding, a little Metal. wall there. Uh, at the very top, I believe, is the actual, yeah. So that first one, one that's the actual track itself. I put on the track sci-fi. Uh, I think you have to. I think you have to either apply it or rebuild the mesh. So if you go to the um, the track spline, scroll all the way down. Ah, uh, refresh. refresh. Yeah, I think you have to do that twice. Okay. okay, there we go. So, cool. Uh, yeah, comes in a little bit different scale, but you can also mess with the scale. So if wow. you if you scroll up to the, if you grow, scroll to the top there, I have no idea we had these. That's, that's awesome. cool. It's like uh, Tron. Uh -huh. Where's like the scale of the texture? Sci-fi. I don't know if you can do that in the. You can. I just forget yeah. where it is. Um, oh, goal UV scale. This one. Yeah. It might be that one. Yeah. So if you were, oh, you gotta do refresh on that. So yeah, try the X, make that um, like 0.5. Yeah. Okay. So you can see the pattern kind of got bigger. Yeah. It looks a lot less squished. If we did like that, that so that'll cool. work. Yeah, because you want to sort it does here fully. Sure. See, now it's like a bunch of repeating over and over again. We say, yeah. hey, we want to make it switch out more. We can do so it even lower the number of the Tiling. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a good. Well, I actually, I like that oh, that looks good. good. Really it's kind of cool when you're actually driving on it. It might look a little blown out of proportion, but you prefer the point five. The uh, point five then. Yeah. I'll defer to the artist for the uh, mm -hmm. art decisions. <laughs> that seems fine to me. That's awesome. Reasonable. So how many textures do we have? Just is that just? Oh, uh, we have the two materials good. right now. Um, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so that's they're just gonna upload their own materials then. Yeah, um, I was it's say. just a tileable texture on that material. Mm -hmm. So technically, any tileable texture or any of those materials you can throw on. Um, I think someone tried the beam cannon one. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the material that the stretch. beam cannon effects use, and it actually makes it kind of look like a uh, <laughs> almost like this glass kind of glowing road. It's kind of neat. It's a little thick, but it's pretty trippy. You get more and more detailed as you want to. You get less detailed. That's cool. Not, not detailed, but pushing it more uh -huh. together. I think 32 is the default on this. Yeah. And if you want to upload your different. own materials, we have a tutorial for that up on our wiki. Um, it's also in our Discord. Yeah. So uh, for uploading your own assets and all sorts of things. Yeah. We also have, you can change the other parts as well. That's just the uh, the base mesh, the base track there. Also the walls you could change to if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, do you want to change that? Do you want to leave that as is? What do you think? 
Uh, I'd leave it as is. Okay. We don't have like a, another option for that one. Okay. So anything that's fine. you drag on there is just gonna look kind of crazy. Start wanting to go Could that way. This nice blue track here. I like the blue theme. I like Big it. Big fan of that. Yeah. All right. Cool. And then Greg, want to try a trigger volume over here? Let's go ahead and try that out. So, if we had these red fruit turned off in the beginning, let's open up our red fruit group right here. Mm -hmm. Turn that section off. They're That's not my off. band name, the Red Fruit Group. Red Fruit Group. We're going to add a uh, new object here. Um, so create an empty object. We're going to add in a box collider to our new object. I'm dragging them over there. Let's give this a name. Why are we doing this? What's well, the Red Fruit Activity Trigger? Mm -hmm. That collider on right there. Okay. It's going to be a trigger. We're going to filter by identifiers. These all have identifiers on them. We'll see. So there's NPC Racer AI, Light Racer AI, and the player also has them as well. You can see they ha both have Racer one identifier. So we say any Racer will trigger this. We're going to have this set. Perfect. So we'll just say identifier Racer. So any Racer entering this volume will trigger it. Where is our volume right now? It is not where we want it to be. Let's bring that up. Let's make it a little bigger too. So just right before it then, or? Right after it, right? So the first person to enter it will turn them on, so people behind them can get it. Oh. So the first person can't get them, because they're already ahead. You don't need help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're ahead of the loop. So if you are first, you yeah. will do that. This is called the blue shell loop. exclusion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of get to roughly align roughly align with that track. It doesn't have to be exact. <coughs> You'll hit yep. that. Make, make sure it's wide enough. That's the important part, that you don't drive past it and miss the effect we want. And you can't get it and then be back here because behind there, so if you see the, the comparison there, if we turn the red fruit loop back on, it's behind that, so that should be fine. And it's and touching any part of the trigger volume, so it doesn't matter that uh, yep. if you you may be in it at the same time as another racer, for example. Yeah, so we're entered it first. We're going to say, hey, red you fruit Do you want to do that on first entered then rather than on trigger entered? Well, that's not going to matter. Cause we'll, okay. We're going to be able to fire once, essentially, right? So we're going to say, hey, red fruit group, set active to true. We're going to say, hey, Single use trigger only fire once, then root again. Mm -hmm. When it's on, it's on. Yep. So on the very first lap, the first user can't get that the first time. That's fine. And we could build more sections that mm -hmm. like, like, oh, mm -hmm. after into this one, turn on the other one elsewhere, that the second lap is something different somewhere else. You could build like that, build more gameplay of that nature as well if you want to really channel it together. Mm -hmm. Let's test it out there. We can kind of. And yeah, I don't know if you said this, but the trigger volume won't actually show up during gameplay. Right. You won't see a screen during gameplay. It's a, it's a yeah. very good point. Take that for granted, but yeah, this green thing won't be there, so you won't know what's happening. You just drive through, and then, oh, there's yeah, fruit there. Just so the editor there's always fruit there. see what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Little helpers. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. For people Gizmos. building stuff, the activating and deactivating of objects is a super essential thing that I use all the time. Personally, it's myself, for design stuff, is really a good way of just having stuff show up or go away. I mean, technically, you could go through a trigger volume and have a whole bunch of the geo behind you change so as you're going around this track it could look different every single lap as you're going around we no can be changing stuff and if it worked correctly hey period it's around the corner a little bit but yeah it'll be right afterwards there so you can no, i would have power if i didn't get it but yeah we can get it right. that way so that works as That's a great. little gameplay mod right there for us nice and the track looks great i like that does, yeah i like that nice. uh the visuals on that yeah that well, the fruit no longer boosts it, it was. No, I already had. I already have power. Oh, you had it. I didn't use it yet. It's still okay. only boost. We didn't change that. Right, so now a little, a little gameplay mod. We have a little nice. uh, yeah. track mod going on there too. Yeah. A little extra decoration. We didn't get any of the uh, voxel stuff yet. The RTS stuff, right? In another uh, area. Yeah, do we have more of the platform area? A more platform. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do a little bit of each, then come back. Can sure. we, we have a weasel that you could destroy, maybe? Something like uh, you know, wandering on the track or something, just wandering across the track, like a uh, Mario Kart with the cows. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and if he hit him, is right. Well, he could be. Yeah, what if going that way? What if he had a power up? Too, like he hit him and he gives you a power up. Could do that. It'd be health depleted, right? If he we could just carry the power, power up along with him, like a little red fruit <laughs> in his hand. Wait, are we in the right section? <clears throat> I worked, uh, it's a section. <laughs> yes, that's true. We kind of have the racer over there, platformers over there. It's kind of the whole loop right now. We could do it on mm -hmm. the side over here if we wanted to, or we could do it right. first thing. Before, like, wait, wait, before, wait, wait before the thing? Like right there. Yeah, you right need here? to be in the no, platform no, no. area. Yeah, right, right here. This is like oh, yeah, this oh, oh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, platform area. Yeah, that's the whole. <laughs> I knew that. So we're doing these weasel bully. Yeah, he'll yeah. wander around. Yeah, we'll, we'll put him on there and see what he does there. Just <laughs> toss a few of them out there. Just see what happens with them by themselves first. Okay. Make sure there's a few of them. That's the word. Okay. I think this will be also. Yeah. 
<laughs> and do they have anything that can spawn on death, or do you have to use the actual death? Uh, so we could, we could have it when they. Well, I don't remember if on yeah. death they have. On the health controller, there is thing we could do on death. We could do something, okay. but it's not. Where it's going to be is not going to follow him. We could have. Oh, when he dies, we spawn something right. somewhere. Right. We it's not going to be following. That, that requires the script to like actually be on him and spawn yeah. off of him. That would be the custom yeah. script, probably. Um, let's just put a few of them in there. This is new the power up, so that's fine. Um, what else did they do? Test it out. They should be wandering around, basically, and they should uh, try and attack us, but not them. Because they're enemies, and we're out, we're players, so. Technically, the other they're also enemies to us. Mm -hmm. But it's no, you know, PvP and racing games. Well, Just other than power. Turn this into death I, think, race yeah. I think by the time they sense you, try to attack you. It'll be too late. Yeah. If, we're if we keep driving, yeah. If we stop there and let them look at us, they'll, uh, they won't like it. <laughs> I wonder if you could shoot them with the beam cam. Is that what you oh. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Coincidentally, the oh. they glued there. <laughs> He hit me! I took damage. Definitely lagging a little bit. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> so that, I think, has to do with the speed that you have to reach to be able to actually kill them, right? There's Hitting a, there, them? There's yeah. a velocity right. that yeah. you have, a target velocity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go back here. Not really going to chase you anyway. I'm thinking about just turning that kind of part of it mm -hmm. off. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to like maybe turn up their sensor stuff, like the distance of their sensor tone up, and then oh, their bit. speed up, right? They're they have to be like really fast, and they're not really designed to be <coughs> race cars, right? So I don't, I don't think we're gonna get a reasonable weasel attacking us in a, in no. a, in a short, short. Uh, I, I think just more time we're feeling to do it, but oh, yeah, wandering around aimlessly in the middle of a racetrack seems like probably. No, it could be kind of funny to have those guys chase you, though. <laughs> set up their speed really fast and their uh, the patrol area like that. I mean, we can set up the... So they just would run the track oh after you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, st they stay on the track. That they I don't know. Well, they probably go off the track. They, ha they have navigation. They should try and navigate to you, in theory. All right. <laughs> Let's shift there. Click. Three. Oh, man. Black is guy. Uh, probably just that could be another this. trigger volume thing that potentially you go through, right? And then it's Full speed weasels. Whoa. Full speed weasels. <laughs> <laughs> and then there are sensor cones somewhere, right? Yeah. <coughs> uh, Detection parameters. Yeah. We can just give them. The, yeah, we can just, we can just deal with that rather than seeing. We can just give them the uh, Detection angle. proximity. I think. Yeah, we just raise that point. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're nearby them, within. What's certain detection? detection. I would also set their detection angle will be 360 then, right? So it's not a cone in front of them. They can sense from any direction. Sure. 15 meters, I can get you. So definitely fewer than 10, no matter yeah. what. Another thing you, what you could do besides yeah. duplicating is you could save this bully out here. You could save that as an asset, yeah. Let's just, I want to see if one of them chases us correctly and oh, how yeah. fast he is. 20 is pretty fast. Should be. I think we're about 20, so <laughs> it'll be a neck and neck race. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome <laughs> if this actually worked. It's not a race, but he's not racing, he's just trying to kill us. Uh -huh. It's totally different. <laughs> so as I say, it potentially could be another you go through a trigger volume and it spawns those guys behind you. So the first person that goes through doesn't have to deal with them, but then everyone else has to deal with them or something like that, right? So there's little things you could add in. Must go faster. Must uh -huh. go faster. Mm -hmm. Bang lags in that weasel, though. Yeah. And he's looking for you, it seems like. It's a superpower. <laughs> Slow motion world. I think you can't walk. I think she's not being able to navigate. You might have, I think you have to build a navigation, right? Oh. <laughs> Took him out real quick. <laughs> that's, the, that's the way to do weasels. You need your beam cannon. Mm -hmm. It could be a navigation issue. Yeah, we haven't got the in-game debug console just yet. It's supposed to bring wrong. That's upcoming in a, spring, in a, in a, in a milestone near you. <laughs> Sometime soon. Um, let's see. I mean, our world navigation would be... Uh, it's, it's, under, it's under scene, I thought. Scene... I don't even have it in here. Props. Yeah, that's true. That could be the, that could be the problem, actually. Let's go ahead and save this real quick here. <coughs> I'm just going to open up the uh, the combat game, which definitely has movement and definitely functions. We can go look at the... Uh, yeah, I think it's... I think it, it, in that scene, we removed navigation because there's no AI navigating in there. 
We can add back in though if we go. Yeah, open up the scene, and there should be navigation, navigation mesh. mesh. Yeah. And then you can calculate, you can set your bounds. Yeah, there. okay. Mm -hmm. So something like this. You okay. can see it too. If you yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah, yeah okay. That's what we're missing then. I think I might be able to do that. Let's find out. Uh, you can save it as a local file. Load. Uh, yeah, Racer Challenge Upstream. Okay, can't copy that. That's fine. Nav. Navigation mesh. So we'll make a new object here. Okay. Navigation mesh. Probably have to set the bounds. Yep. So you can see. Default bounds are really tiny. Really, really yeah. tiny. Itty bitty. Not too, uh, too big to see, but we can calculate it <laughs> yeah. see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Navigation. That's probably the way we were having problems. You mm -hmm. couldn't navigate. Yeah. yeah. We're getting our frame rate issues because we're erroring out. Like yeah, the air, air console is being slow. Mm -hmm. The user can't see it yet. That's coming up very soon. Yeah. So you'll be able to help you out and figure hey, what's going wrong? Oh, it tells you in the console. What's, what's helpful. What's under graph settings? Just curious. Uh, it, it's uh, more, more advanced for how you, if it, it just didn't look like you can tweak these settings, you get it look more accurate. This ah, looks okay. pretty good to me. For yeah. wheels are walking around, they so follow like the paths and it's good. Yeah. If you want to have, if like, even if you like here, there's a little inaccuracy probably. there, you can make it more expensive, but more yeah. accurate. But this is pretty accurate for wheels racing, that's, that's going to be fine. Okay. And now you should go navigate and walk around, that should be, <laughs> should be less laggy and more fun. It's always a good thing. That's our success metric. Fun. Mm -hmm. Let's we'll more fun. Let's we'll <laughs> more fun. Yeah. Let's even think about the navigation. Yeah, it took me to think of that as well. I was like, why are they not following us? Mm -hmm. The scene doesn't have navigation normally, so we took it out. <laughs> so maybe we should put that back in by default so we don't have to worry about it. Are oh, you already walking around? Yeah. <coughs> Is he hitting the power up? Maybe. It's stuck in the power up. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I think he's hitting the power up. And he's gonna chase you. Go, go, go. I'm chasing me. <laughs> really slowly. Hey, lost interest. Come on, buddy. Come on, little friend. <laughs> Getting very upset. There he is. <laughs> yeah, you're damage right now. Uh, is, aren't you immune to damage? Nope. There you go. <laughs> the parts decrease the attack distance a little bit. When we're a bigger avatar than the usual avatars are, I'm trying to give him a little bigger attack range. Mm. I think behind us, he couldn't get to, get, couldn't get to our position, which is more in the front of the car. Yeah. The so funny, he hits back, he's like, I can't use him. Ah, well, give up. They're pretty passive, these weasels. Where's Let's his uh, attack state? Can we make him attack? Control state. We also have the, yeah, we only have the pursuit state to be pursuit speed. 20. Max chase duration. Um, no more than... 30 seconds. 30 seconds? <laughs> okay, 30 seconds it is. Follow <laughs> distance, that's going to be 200. You can't lose them. Yes. <laughs> Ever. Is there that's a way horrible. To, is there a way to attack? <laughs> it's like 10. If you, if you drive past him, he's like, ah, he's gone. <laughs> We'll try it out. A little buddy weasel never forgets. Get a little buddy for the race. <laughs> yeah, we're Let's check it. Idle duration, <laughs> detection from <laughs> general settings. Detection proxy. Damage to deal. Time. Let's pump the damage a little bit. 25 damage. Ooh. Really bump. He hits you. That's hard. He, 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 don't let him hit you. It's bad for you. <laughs> Movement. What if it... Hmm. I wonder if he had it. I think it's attack controls or not. Not. Ready. All kinds of stuff you can talk about. All kinds of parts of the weasel to do slightly different behaviors. Yeah. As you change it around. Okay. Detection, idling, pursuing, alerting, controlling. All kinds of stuff. Cool. Let's try that out. You should now change it a whole bunch more, more aggressively. And there's just the one, right? Yeah, the only one right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay. come back on. We'll get the guy off that wall. Sure. Okay. Okay. I like how they all drop in there. Mm -hmm. This is the weasel territory. Oh, 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 oh wow. <laughs> he's angry now. Oh, God. He's, nice. <laughs> he's, he's, he's on me. <laughs> He's on, I can't lose him. <laughs> I wish I had like a back camera here. I can see behind yeah, me right now. He still hates me, I'm pretty sure. We can't stop here. This is Weasel. I might go away by now, though. I might gotta wait by now. We'll be back and see if we find him. We no, he's lost. Guys. He's not in the island zone anymore. Let's go chase these guys. He doesn't know who he is. <laughs> I want him to chase me, not you. Get out of here. Wait, where is he? 
Oh, yeah. Did someone run He might have died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were in first place. They were all behind him. That's probably why he stopped falling. That's why I got run over. Which is fine. That's a totally yeah. valid result. Uh-huh. That's what you. That's what happens when you stand in the middle of a race. <laughs> yeah. 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 He learned a lesson that day. Well, I guess he didn't learn a lesson, but future Weasel did. <laughs> I love it. Rest in peace, our friend. All right. Are we with that then? I think he's. I think he's good. Yeah. That looks good. That feels good. Make make a horse more then. Let's do some RTS. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, we've worked out okay. popular, right? So let's add a few. He needs some friends. A few wheels on here, and they all patrol randomly, so they can kind of be wherever. Let's make sure they're not too low. Yeah, that's them. a good point. Last two, I think, are a little low there. Oops, actually, yeah. we're the visuals, which is not what you want to do. Oh, yeah. That's duplicate the actual yeah. visible, a very important tip. Good catch. Don't duplicate the actual visuals, and it'll be one visual mm. with a lot of different meshes. Yeah. <laughs> that would look really strange. Okay, where's that little. Yeah, you can duplicate, drag him around. You just have to make sure he's not through the ground. The nice thing about dragging them out from the library sometimes is they actually yeah. snap to the surface of things. I typically... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's actually easier. In, in this case, that's going to be easier because yeah. they will align properly. Did you, did you save him out as his own thing? I didn't, know. Oh, okay. that's a good point. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, okay. Because he's got, right. he's got his own settings. So we're going to say Weasel Race Bully. So Weasel Race Bully. So or we can do this now. Right click, and you can do save or save as. Mm -hmm. We'll just save where we named it. We'll just save yeah. it out here. And now in our local assets, we'll have yeah. weasel, weasel race bully. So we can add in weasel race bully really easily now. Click and drag. And it'll snap to the surface of another object, yeah. a piece of environment, which is always. And then when we very publish useful. this, if people wanted to do the same thing, they would then have to save him out locally again. No, they'll, correct? So they'll have it. It'll, with, be in, yeah. it'll, it'll be in the race, but yeah. if they want to do if the same thing. If you download our game, it'll be in our race. Right, but if they want to do the same thing that we're just doing, they would have to save it to their local if they want to drag. No, it'll be in community, one thing. It'll be in here. It'll, it'll be in the it separate. If up. they download our game, okay. it'll be in, it should be in there. The we still have race fully. It's, it's been packaged with our game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. And one more, why not? A good little handful. Five, six weasels. That's a gaggle of weasels. Great. Mm -hmm. The murder of weasels? It's our nap. Yes. I don't know if we should find out actually what a group of weasels is so called. Let's name that and name put it away. Put uh, that in the scene. Kind of like a willy of weasels. Our it's our a bus. bus, bus Locked away. Weasel, okay. Or? We have six weasels doing weasel stuff. That's great. Oh my gosh. It's referred to as a boogle. <laughs> a boogle of weasels? <laughs> yes, a boogle of weasels. All right, I like it. That's what we should call <laughs> or it. Or a confusion. Or a confusion. Or a gang or a pack. A confusion makes more sense for these guys, I think. A confusion of no, weasels. weasels. This should should be called weasel uh, confusion, not weasel group. Come on. Weren't you listening? I uh, 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 <laughs> was not. Uh, uh, weasel confusion, okay. <laughs> weasel. I like Boogle. You can't. I mean, Boogle's pretty good. Boogle. That's true. I want to name <laughs> the whole game. Weasel Boogle. I want to name the whole game that now. <laughs> weasel <I'm> Boogle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm taking a couple of uh, ideas here from Boogle Greg weasels. here. Sometimes we learn some new things. <laughs> Straight. Weasel trigger. I'm gonna have this stuck after weasel section is over. So the next time you come around, more weasels will, will spawn. Nice. Weasel confusion two. Oh no. The exact same weasels. We'll turn it on off for now. We'll say, hey, weasel trigger. We'll turn on more weasels. Uh oh. Now we'll have extra weasels. We'll have 12 weasels total if they don't die. If they already die, then hey, new weasels, no problem. That's too many weasels. It's notoriously difficult to eradicate an area of weasels. They, <laughs> just, they, they, all, they just never yes, keep they coming actually, back. Yeah, weasel, weasel lore is very important. Yeah. Alright. So a little bit of RTS now. We can get these RTS in there at least a little bit and we can go to more pushing out each area. Okay. RTS. Um, what do we want to do here? Buildings, right, I assume. Ooh, and the arches maybe to drive through. It's a nice big... Buildings, I mean, towers or something. they're not huge because it's, oh, it's, it's RTS, well, we got to scale more. Yeah, guys. we can scale them. Mm -hmm. We can scale them. Whoa. Perfect. Hey, Jesse, the this is for you. Buildings. <laughs> Thank you. It's very satisfying. So. <laughs> That's what's going on here. All right. <laughs> so we'll give this a nice... Uh, well, that, that camera's <laughs> microphone can, you know, pick up the beautifulness of sound that sound. Sound quality on that. The sound will be, yeah. The nuance of the this uh, road leads to the uh, undead barracks, of course. Like it. Sure. This is our RTS section. Then we're going to add some RTS section. So, so we have some community assets we could add. Oh yeah. Kind of flesh out the outer yeah. area here. Click off our RTS. Oh, 
Uh, epa, these, these are in that filter, so they can technically you can have that. Okay. But you don't need to look. Yeah, we can pick whatever we want. Let's get a uh, big gorg. Big gorg. He is big gorg. Man. Kill that guy. Pushing that. He's big gorg. Ooh, that should be one of the races. Yeah, we won't animate. We can still use them. We won't animate. Yeah, though. yeah. This is the non-animated model. You can't have can it. Can we either. scale them up so big yeah, we can drive right just under just him? Ooh. Uh, with his collision not being oh, accurate. Oh, true. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know where it's at, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we won't use them in background animation because these guys no one has to have accurate collision on them. Yeah, yeah. These so are Eli made. We have can't verify the collision. Is he going <laughs> like this, or are those his ears? Yes. Is, is, he, is he raising his hands? It looks like. like I think he has he has touchdown. four legs already. and go through his ears. There he has four legs. Oh. Yeah. Then again, now he has four ears. I guess though. So I really don't know. I think those are horns. Oh, I think he's just a mascot over here. He's hanging out, yeah. cheering you on as you drive by That's in cool. this direction. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, hey, it's Big Gorg. Oh, cool. Love that guy. What's up, Big Gorg? Look. I got some oh, trees. Oh, 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 over here. It's kind of floating now, though. We could put a second street. We could do. Let's do like a. What's that big. Do we have any sort of. Uh, put him on a tree. Do we have a spraying effect? A chance? I'm not sure. Because we could set up a trigger volume just before we got there that would turn on the spraying effect, so as you drive by, it can make it look like he's spitting something. Oh, that's RTS style. No. Uh, we have that beam cannon effect. You can shoot laser beams at you. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. The weasel vomit is not really a spray, right? No, that's like a foaming at the mouth. Yeah. It's a little extra background. Why, why are you st how are you standing there? You gotta give him something to stand on, right? Not I mean, he's obviously. got four legs to stand on, but yeah. <laughs> Out of the track, we'll slide it back here a little bit. Can it support the weight of Big Gorg? I think it can. Okay. Yeah, because he's made of voxels. Yeah. <laughs> voxels are notoriously light. Yeah, a voxel, a vo touching voxel stays in the air, so that works, right? Mm -hmm. How do you sure. convert pounds to voxels? Oof, it's tricky. <laughs> Different physics, it doesn't yeah. work. There we go. Big Gorg now has to come on the corner here, <laughs> driving right toward Big Gorg, and you veer away last second to get his power ups. I like it. Those I think, big, those big Gorg's power I think right he there. needs some like dynamic lighting, you know, like a nice. Light right under his chin, you know, to light mm -hmm. him from <laughs> below. Like a point light. A oh, point light? Yeah, let's just do a point light. Spotlight might be cool, but. And what? Talk to me a little about kind of what the different lighting options are and what, like, why you choose a point light or a directional. So a point light, uh, you can see that little sphere. It'll only light up oh, like okay. what's inside that sphere in like okay. this kind of spherical direction. Uh, directional light will um, create a light from one direction all the way like. That completely uh, encompasses the whole scene. You normally use for your sun. <coughs> yeah, that's what we use. That's the main light in this, mm -hmm. in this one right here. Uh, spotlight. It's a kind of. Uh, it's more of like a cone-shaped <laughs> light. Nice. I think you should drop it down a little bit to make it more menacing. Don't lower it down here. It's yeah. kind of like a. Yeah, and pull it away a little bit. Under, under glow. All right. Oh, cool. Like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you got? What do you got to set up? Uh, increase the range of light. Oh, there we go. That's, that's, that's a nice effect. That's why you have the artist here. Yeah. That's nice. And I like that it's coming onto the track a little bit too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like get a little reflection because it's actually reflective. So you yeah. can see a little, oh, this is this is, this is Big Grog's area. Oh, Big Gorg. Big Gorg's area. Oh, and he's <laughs> looking over the power ups yeah. of whatever we're going to get for those. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's his. That's definitely that area handled. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the spaceship too. Or the, um, what is it? The, um,. Oh yeah, the complete, oh yeah, the, the community voxel spaceship. It has to go in the game. Do we right? have any yeah. of the flying ships in here? Because uh, we could replace the visuals of the spaceship, which is really kind of cool. Voxel That's spaceship. it. Yeah. We got this thing for uh, at least back on RTS area voxel style spaceship. Uh, it's not gonna move. We can, we can put a mover. <laughs> Just have it actually fly across. Uh -huh. yep. So so yep. in the actual race oh, room, man, there's a big. Yeah. Yep. Ships in the background, yep. but I don't think there's any in this one. No problem. Yeah, it's on here. But we could just put a mover on him and make him slowly go across the level. That'd be cool. <laughs> okay, we can, we can get fancy. <coughs> let's put in a... Uh, that would only be fun if you have... We're nothing if not fancy, right? Come it's on. True. We'll put it, we can platform. We're just going to convert it rather than doing it from scratch. Put that right here. We can just drop like power-ups out of this guy. We can build from scratch. It's just faster to build from the pre-build. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, he's form. making it rain power-ups from mm -hmm. this guy. Or bombs. <laughs> I get really fancy. <laughs> All right. How much time we got? <laughs> yeah, right. That's uh, exploding bombs would be cooler, actually. Moving platform. This is our platform. Um, so these are kind of scripts that use right there. We don't need to worry about hacking it. Um, okay, so it's just going to travel in between those yeah. two. Yeah. So maybe I don't like, care about any of this stuff, honestly. So these, yeah, I don't need any of that. 
other than the mover itself. So we're going to go ahead and delete out all the other parts. We're not going to ride this at all. It's not going to be actually riding. It's just going to be the air bubbles. Yeah, right. Yeah. It just has to move in, yeah. Okay. Technically, all you could fake him bombing if you wanted to put a trigger <laughs> volume that he went through, then you could set up a timer that could then turn on and off a bunch of explosions on the track to make it look like he was bombing <laughs> the track as he flew over. <laughs> It doesn't like turning on and off stuff is so good. You can do cool stuff like that. And it's so easy to do. You yeah. guys are crazy. I love it. Yep. <laughs> Get a little trigger happy over here. Yeah, I am. Huh. Trigger volume happy. I am. <laughs> I definitely am. It'll move the platform. Without being able to code very well, it's an uh, easy two. way of getting a lot of just interesting functionality sure, to yeah. happen. Yeah. That anyone can do it. It's super simple to do. So. Stay tuned for our short documentary series, Trigger Volumes and You, starring yep. Greg. <laughs> yep. Anyone can do it, even Eric. That's true. For right now, you're just setting up the starting and end points for the mover, yes. and you <laughs> attached him as the visual, or you attached him just to the mover? I said as, as the visual, yeah. Basically, the mover is saying, hey, move this guy here right. from here to here. So he would be in the starting point, he's already kind of where he's at right now. You could have um, potentially just made him a child of the mover that was already there, right? Just dropped him over it, and then he potentially. would Potentially. He would have just moved with it. Yeah. He would have hit the mover yeah. inside of himself, right? He could have done that too. Yeah, so we're just going to take these two guys here. We're going to move them back a little more, I think. He starts kind of back there. Oops, the car still has this thing on. That's the section of visuals. That's not why I built this, but we'll build it here. Mover. All right, we're going to say, hey. Um, no looping, just one time passing. Mm -hmm. Two instructions, we want node one to node zero. I want to start, we're gonna move ourselves. I'm gonna delete the old mover, we don't need that one. I have extra, I don't have extra box in there. Okay. So okay, he's gonna say, hey, I start back here, which is where he's positioned right now, they're both in the same position. And he's gonna move from there to that way over there. He's gonna mm -hmm. kind of fly up, up and over that way a little bit. That's, that's what's that definitely like? It's not bad, it's just trying to face out a little bit, probably. Well, you could fly through the track. You, you might have collision though, if I keep above the track. Yeah, you yeah. Hanging, <laughs> you'd you. have to line that up perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the last question here would be, what is our um, our duration to arrive at node one down here? Uh, so five seconds right now, pretty fast. That's, super fast. Uh, that's like, a like 30, 30 seconds. 30? Okay. That's what I was thinking too, yeah. It's a nice <laughs> slow drift. Uh, he'll get there before we finish the lap then, for sure, before we race them, for sure. Because if you can yeah, like like is what you yeah. say, so yeah, if you have him yeah. go slow, you'll see him coming yeah. towards you sure. by the time you're making around the bend, right? So, yeah. yeah. Alright, so that's a save bit right now. I'll change in there and see what it looks like. See if it doesn't break yeah. anything. See if the question is when he gets the air track in a trigger <laughs> volume. <laughs> <laughs> when the ship gets there, the track is catching on fire that and that he explodes. Horrible things occurred everywhere. <laughs> go Michael Bay on this and just have everything exploding. Yeah. Limited time today. A lot of things to do. Well, there's always time for explosions. <laughs> <laughs> According to Michael Bay, there is, right? Yep. There it is. And we need some lens flare. Well, that's looking good. He's moving so slow. Yeah, you can't even tell he's moving. Is he moving? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's too slow. It's a subtle effect. When you come back around, he'll be closer to you. That's true. That's, <laughs> the, that's the goal. There's it's the it's Steven King. Ooh, I jumped that Steven there, a uh, uh, boot trap. That's true. <laughs> we move everywhere. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, nice. <laughs> Steven was here. You won't handy anything. You just hang the weasels. <laughs> that is so cool. So now we should have triggered more like weasels now, right? Because we've gone through the trigger volume. Yeah. Well, some, <laughs> any, any racer has. It doesn't have to be us. Any racer. Yeah. So they, yeah, they were triggered already. There's two weasels there. Yeah. Yep. Oh. 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 That turned out damage was maybe a, maybe a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you died. Huh? You got right. Uh, yeah. Because they're not attacking you. Oh, they're not attacking enemies. They're just only attacking you, right? So, yeah. So if they get oh. triggered by anyone else, or they yeah. only get they triggered only attack by us you. ever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they can run the motor force and help us out, but they can't trigger them. I want to do. I want to kind of see where it gets. I think a little faster is, is needed though. It's actually a pretty fast lap. Yeah. Let's time is out of here. Like <laughs> ten seconds so far, we'll call it. I want to say double that speed. About a minute for a lap on, yeah. the, on this track, so bring him to six seconds in, in the three laps across the entire track. Yeah, that's probably a good. A good I'm assuming it's a little bit faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Or we could just have them even, even longer, just have to get further away. So we're still moving. Just, just have, well, we want them to stop for us. Oh, you're sitting there, not moving anymore. It'd be kind of lame. We want to have them actually going somewhere the entire time. Yeah. We could just make it further as well to keep the same distance, but actually just move his other point. That's true. Or he's going to be rather to get point and move it. And if people wanted to get super crazy, they could just make him move with more points and actually make him follow Oh, you could, you could make him do laps and all kinds yeah. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He could actually make him follow a path. Yeah. Let's put that up there. Almost still lowers down to move the entire thing in just 60 seconds. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> right, so now I'll be faster and ready. But Is okay. Timer out there? What? A little smart timer out there hanging out? In, in this guy? Oh. Oh, that's, that's, that's the kill condition. Uh, this way here, uh, that's, that's a little of a minute. In, in the under gameplay, there are variety of conditions of how does your game end. Um, so in here you can see we have okay. smart condition for Avatar 3+. plus. So if, if you get better than equal to first place, you win. If you get worse than equal to first place, you lose. And the racer game is not really a differentiation there, uh, unless you even made one. They could change the UI to be different, but currently it's just going to show the same. Oh, you got sixth place, doesn't really matter a whole lot. Mm -hmm. The more important ones are kind of down here. If you get, if, if the non-Avatar finishes in sixth place or worse, we end the game early because everyone else has finished the race and you're still going. We just end it for you. You don't want that? Just delete this. Cool. If they all die, if all the racer AI, the seventh racer AI die, you win because nobody else can finish the race. That's not how, we, how it's you more of it, but okay. And finally, if you die, you lose. If you don't have this, if you die, the game will sit there and wait for you to somehow finish, but you're not going to. Yeah, so that's, that's, definitely that's an important one to keep in there probably. Unless you have, unless you have some sort of respawn mechanic like that you could do yourself. That could be done, hypothetically. What's next, guys? What are we cool, doing? Cool, cool. What are we adding in there? Um, I mean, I would start to flesh stuff out. Like, I would, like, for the platformer area, we have a whole bunch of those volcano cliff pieces. Like, you could wrap mm. those around the outside of that track if you want to enclose <coughs> the whole thing in stone. Oh, yeah, the cliff, um, right? Um, uh, cliff? Uh, yeah, John, John uh, platformer. Yeah, I'm looking. Right. Yeah, looking for the. Oh, they're volcano rocks. Yeah. Oh, it's just volcano. I got this. Yeah. Okay, I'll see what's called. Volcano rocks. All right, let's put in. So there's the slabs, but there's there's a couple that are like curved a little bit. So those would be. Yeah. Would actually be the slabs. Yeah, we could do it. It's slabs one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Right. Like that. Put the big one. Yeah, we want to have. We want to have it out here. Like this, I guess. Kind of what you what you're thinking. Yeah, because they're, they're partially curved a little bit, right? So you can rotate them to kind of hug the. <coughs> You see how yeah, it's got the curve to it, right? So, yeah, so rotate oh, okay. it around and have them hug, have them hug the it's track. It's going to be a bit. hard to match that curve exactly, but we can do a little bit at least. You can get close, yeah. I like that it kind of hangs over mm -hmm. too a little bit, the slam. And it's okay with a little bit of collision because it, it will have collision on it. You have a car that it will hit that mm -hmm. and hit and into it. It's their choice. Yeah. And these will have accurate collision you can, you can keep. So, so they all curve slab two, That one's slab two is like really curved. Oh, sweet. A little more over here. Mm -hmm. like yeah, look at that. A little real close so you can get them touching, maybe. Cool. Cool. Okay, or oh, being over a little bit. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Hit it and then I gotta, yeah. gotta adjust. Or a little accidental jump off the, off the map and then you'll die. <laughs> That's fine, too. Sure. See what happens. Their choice. Uh, yeah. I Do uh, try Rock Slab 02, but on the inside of the curve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Smart. Mm -hmm. have to uh, scale it down. Have to scale a little bit. Yeah. But uh, we can we can work with it. Oop, not that far. I think we kind of do it more over here. Oops, that's not the right axis. Oh crap! Go back. Oh, which axis do I want here? Let's see. Um, we want the that one. That's the color. Yeah. Yellow. The axes too in the bottom right hand corner. You can change it from local to global. Oh yeah, uh, the, this one right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So local, it'll be local to the asset. Global, it's to the uh, the world. The world. Yeah, I don't know if that's fine. You have to click it there. Good. If you're not careful, you obviously dodge that corner a little bit. Yeah. A little candy. Oh, that's, gonna, that's gonna feel. That's mm -hmm. gonna feel nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. Come out through and I guess they're taking one this way. Go down the outside. Oh, down the canyon right here. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah, that's cool. Dodge around that and mm -hmm. stay I wide like to get through. All right, I like Not that. Shabby. Maybe one more over here to top, top it off. You can put them slash the area. Mm. There's the pillars. Mm -hmm. we have a lot this of, could yeah. be like slag. Mm -hmm. Tights yeah. that hang from the bottom of the track. Tights are nice. Stalac 
C for ceiling, C the lag for ground. ground. Yeah, C for ceiling. I have to be fair. You're saying off of this thing right here on the overhead. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's crazy. I like that. Oh, so we're going to down there. It's going to put on top of the thing, mant by default. We can kind of pull it down and then rotate. shrink it. Although, I mean, yeah, just it I wouldn't hate the idea of, of just doing a. That's not what I wanted. Come here. Come on. I wish I grabbed the right part of the transfer and get out of there. Kittle? I kind of don't hit the idea of having something in the track. actually in the track to dodge around. Yeah, that could be fun. Let me hit school. Let's get your head out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little narrower, because that's a pretty wide. Oh, dude. There we go. Nice. It's a load-bearing pillar. Yeah, but the fourth track. One of those <laughs> is actually shaped like a wrench, too. <laughs> one of that's these? Oh, uh, well, yeah. yeah. Pillars. I think this one here looks like it might be. Uh, Not really. You, you the, it. You're talking about the one that's the curved one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's is it arch, though. It yeah. might be. It might be. Oh, there well, it is. That's actually the I told you. I told you. <laughs> there's that one, but there's <coughs> also the one that's more curved, too. That's yeah. the one I was thinking. Okay, of. okay. Wow, whoever made these must be really smart and really cool. <laughs> I wonder who that was. I would agree. <laughs> I would totally agree. agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make that a little, uh, a little lighter string right there. Come on. I'm, just, I'm, I'm clicking poorly today. So this is all user error over here. I'll spin that Let's squish it down a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Like either, cool. either pretty squishable because they're because they're art style. They kind of squish without too much effect on them. It's a pretty squishable art. Style. Yeah, I was gonna say that's yeah, that's, a, that's a technical term, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we're gonna do one more thing in there. Let's just, let's just duplicate one of these guys. Yeah. yeah just gonna have to close it all off right there. Yeah. yeah. Kind of the exit of the canyon there. And then maybe another piece at the start on the left hand side right there as you come into it, so it looks good. This looks pretty good. I think the overlap too, and that's, that's, gonna, be, that's gonna look fine. Man, so. you get the rock king here throwing rocks at you. Nope, no rock king. <laughs> Refuse. <laughs> Only if you hit the trigger volume in a very exactly. specific little corner. It's an Easter egg. Uh huh. <laughs> like that. We're gonna make it like a uh, uh, what is it? like a theme park ride at this point. Yeah. I love it. Also, we, could, we still could go with the idea also of having. Oops, that's not. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Two five typing is also hard apparently for me today. If you want to have also the side, the side types a little bit. Uh, I like the idea as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to rotate it there a little bit. Mm -hmm. You kind of like to flip it this other way. You want like that? Like 180 in here. Is that a little more rounded? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think we have any of that are pointy, right? I don't think. No, nah, really. Yeah, it's plenty of thickness in the track there, so yeah, that works fine. The guy's popping through on the top a little bit on the other one. Oh, this guy is? Oh, yeah. A little speed bump in the road. Look out for that. Oh, if you angled that right, it would be a little jump. Like, bring it up a little bit. Boop. And then rotate it. To make it a little jump on that spot. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. I see what you're saying. Other way. Other oh, way. wait, no, that is. No. Oh, you're right, yeah. I, I keep seeing them going the wrong way. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, go that way. way. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, a little jump the weasel uh -huh. if you by accident. A little pop it out, a little hop. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, maybe that's this. a shortcut. Well. Not really. Use your own risk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to do a couple more of these. We'll shoot this one down a little bit now. Just for a little variation. Cool. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Decoration is also important. It's part of the game feel. You know, it is. It. Especially for this challenge, right? I mean, this is pretty that much is what this challenge is all about. The core of this is yeah. finding interesting ways to mix and match the yep, different assets. Be hidden. We yep. that one out a little bit. It's going to be hidden if we did it there. The subtext, of course, being make a theme park, so we did it. Uh -huh. uh, I feel like I'm going to have this guy. <laughs> like, do the cars have lights on them? No. You could put, you could put lights on them. Well, I mean, they don't have, like, models in Technically, you could put a spotlight on the front of the car. No, there'd be no way to trigger it to turn on. I guess they could just always be on. Oh, like if you want to go make it dark. That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, we could go through the yeah, We could turn off the light. Oh basically. Save this. Right, I'm yeah. gonna test this first. Make sure we're at a good yeah, point, yeah. and then we'll play some lighting stuff. It'd take a little bit more than that because you have yeah. your directional <laughs> light. 
you know, which brings a lot of light into the scene, but then you also mm -hmm. have your ambient lighting, mm -hmm. which uh, if you want a truly dark level, right, right. you have to... Yeah, you gotta mess with all that stuff, which I don't yeah. think we can do through any sort of tracer, but we could turn off the directional light. I like the idea of a somewhat dark, so but yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. yeah we want to do a night-night right now. Gorg, how are you going? Hey, hey, no, no, we're blue, that's good. Should a little bit faster? Oh yeah, let's see, we'll look on the left, too. How did you miss that? I was trying to hit the ring. Morning. <laughs> it's like a little bump. Hey, it's bump. It's <laughs> beef. It's flavor. Oh, no! Oh, oh, my! Oh, my. <laughs> oh, that is really cool. They're, all I like they're hitting that thing a little bit, there, but they're getting through at least. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the ship's already passed. Weevil area is devastating. We'll see it up here. That's right. It, it could be too high. <laughs> oh, I really like this little canyon pass here. That's yeah. cool. Yes, okay, it's a heavy racer is heavy, you couldn't make the turn, that's, that's fine, that's, that's a downside being heavy racer, you're faster, but she hit walls more often. Where is that ship, though? He's gone, man. There, there he is. is. Yeah. You're just hanging out. We can lower him down yeah, a little bit, Yeah, we gotta too. lower him, yeah. I, I don't want to have him be too near the cloud, I don't know right. to track at all, but... Yeah. He's too high. We can keep him lower. Alright. Buzz the tower. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Top good. It breaks a little bit by. Okay. He's looking pretty good. This is take a our great. That's better than our last level, which has, that's for sure. What? I don't know, man. No, uh, first one, not the, yeah, not the, the first uh, one. Yeah. Not the one we did. The one we did was good. The first one was, there was the giant arrow. Uh -huh. It didn't yeah, work out the way we wanted. We hoped. We hoped. <laughs> yeah. Didn't quite work. It out. had a lot of promise. Uh -huh. We just needed more. Time. And fire. Go, go back to that's it. a good height right at the beginning. I think that's fine. In the beginning. I think the other one moved up too high to yeah. compensate for the height change. Yeah, bring him down. Bring that down to buzz the track rather than fly over it. So he'll go from here. It's getting his, I still his, think he, his point he could view. go a little lower oh, or faster. Was, this speed was okay. It's typically all Maybe right. he starts further back. Into the left a little bit, so like away from those rocks, maybe? I don't know. Or thread the needle straight through there. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's getting risky. Oh, going through there. I'll, yeah, the collision yeah. would be too, too iffy on that one. I think, it's, yeah. I think it would be obvious to see him now. And we'll, we'll see him <laughs> really low now. From both different. him lower and the final point lower. He would just have to play with where he started and where it went to. Right? We, time it out a little more, but you could totally do We do have those thruster effects. <laughs> we should attach some of those thruster effects. Oh, yeah. The that you use on the uh, on the other um, thruster. flying stuff in the... Yeah. Particle effect. Yeah. So we need to... I was actually him. thinking about putting a whole bunch of neon signs on him to make it look like he's like this flying advertisement board or something like that. They cool. usually have on races. And like that, it's rotated out. Yeah. So that's way. down, so you gotta tip it to. Fire uh, recycle too. Uh huh. Yep. Like it's like the, like the big blimp from Blade Runner or something like flying over, yeah. right? And it's just, on, it's got Duncan's on. face yeah. on it or something flashing. <laughs> and Put that as a child of our spaceship who is where? Towards the bottom. Right. Our camera's kind of in the way, but it's a little hard for us to see. Oh, yeah. Move that in here. Oh, there, moving platform. Open that up. There it is. Okay. This should be a child of him. Let's see what that looks like. Did you rotate it? Or yeah, I rotated it. Okay. Just to see what it does. Let's just watch it. We only have a, a, a tool in here to simulate them live. We need to add yeah. to help with that. So yeah. you don't get any editor not rather when you're playing. Something to improve. So then drop in a few more buildings around the actual uh, racer town, and then... Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> well, I thought direction, though. Direction's perfect. Yeah. So if I put it on him, it would be helpful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you did. I thought you parented it to him. I did. It's parented, but it's not. Oh, no place on him. Well, yeah. So it's moving just He's definitely he's coming over, though. <laughs> we can make him a little faster, too, I think. Only a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't power. I couldn't power. Couldn't power. Couldn't power. Couldn't 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 too scared. Too scared of the Boogle. Boogle Canyon. Boogle <laughs> Canyon over here. Boogle Canyon, nice. It's too powerful this side, the sneaky <laughs> side. One little power up there. Mm -hmm. Airtime. Oh, oh. oh. That's cool. Hey, that was a good, that was a good height. You could see it. Buzz in the Google. Where that guy come from? Yeah. Rammed off the something. Oh, he shot the one good. Nice shot. Now I can catch you and I'll win. There he's going. He's probably going to away from him. It's fine. It's future tech. <laughs> boost. Be a sucker. It is future tech. Oh. And we win! Oh. Okay, it crashed the last second. 18 yeah. second lap right there. You win. We're stopping with slowing down there. Sacrifice to Gorg. <laughs> <laughs> How you win? Comes in easy. No. 
a boo boo board. It's like the last hole in Goofy Go. Yeah. Nice. We can increase the speed of the ship and then move the, uh, yes. the particle. The ship. Yeah. <clears throat> Put them on the over here. For the particle, you know what you could do? You could, like, add a little visual element in there. No. I'm going to keep it at 60, but I want to bring the, the, the node much further out. So he'll keep moving the entire duration, but he'll get there faster. He can get to this point faster, but still move way out to... <clears throat> way out to there. Oh, yeah, just during the cloud. Yeah. Yeah. So he'll probably he'll probably leave midway through lap two mm -hmm. completely. Yeah. But that's fine. Like if I was flying a spaceship and I was flying that slow, that would feel like a pretty big disappointment. Like you fly a spaceship to mm -hmm. go fast, right? Yeah. I think. Unless it's an advertising spaceship. Oh. Uh, well, thing we can do is make him go really fast and put another one going in the direction. So you see all the effect the entire mm -hmm. time. If you want to get fancy. All right. What do we want to do? Do you now? need to fix his boost? Oh yes, his boost is not at all. So I was thinking actually for that, it's gonna go. You could have like a little helper visual for that, so you could help you line it up. Yeah, how do you do that? Just like drag a visual element as a child under on oh. the effects, so you can actually see. But I guess no, you have the um, you have the uh, the gizmo, right? In theory, <coughs> it is not. Oh, here we go. Pivot. There it is. Okay. That wasn't correct. I, I just moved. I just moved it. That's why. Oh, you but did. Yeah, I moved it. So yeah, this should. I zeroed mean, out basically. So yeah. Okay. No, yeah, that's doing this. That should be good. He will try out one. If it works, we'll, we'll duplicate mm -hmm. and put one on each each cluster. That is cool. We'll see how that works. At least he's faster now. He has a free booster. Set to ludicrous speed. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, me. It's now <laughs> happening. <laughs> Exactly already with that, he, he's boosting. Nice. I can honestly, with one, yeah, wouldn't yeah. even notice the difference. Nope. With two. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Almost looks like he starts to yeah. slow and then we can speed down. So technically, you could use that as the breath for Gorg if you wanted to. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll center it again because now there's mm -hmm. one's enough, we'll center it up. Another special shout out to our friends at Terminal 2 who made these nice yeah. assets, including that spaceship and yeah. Gorg. Yeah, spaceship. So we, we gave the Terminal spaceship two. flight. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and these oh, are all that's accessible that's in the like portal. That. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. You don't want to stop Weasel Town. You no. can't stop there. It's so. a dangerous place, man. <laughs> yeah. You can't stop to watch the spaceships. You can't stop here. It's the Weasel Country. Yeah. Totally Big time Weasel. Okay. What's, what's, what's our next plan here? Great gift more props, man. More props. You should add more props. It's also looking pretty good right now. Some mad props. Can publish this bad boy? Oh. Yeah. Couple more props to publish then? All right. Couple more buildings back here. The RTC here is a little lackluster. Besides the Gorg is amazing, but. I put stuff around it, right? So you're driving through sections. Oh, I think we, need uh, we can add yeah. weir. We have, uh, I think I have those on here too. Giant weir. Uh, giant weir. <laughs> so give us a little extra, extra ground to work off mm -hmm, of rather mm -hmm. than just floating in the air. I never like floating personally. Right there. So it aligns next to the track. Well done, enough place for floating. Could we do like one okay. of those arches maybe that you drive under that we used okay. I think in the last one like yeah. the, uh, the undead um, the ruins arch there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the RTS, yeah, we have an arch. Mm -hmm. It's broken in half. Yeah. Can we have a full arch we too do. though? What's it called? Um, ruins. Pillars. I don't think so. I think we just mm -hmm. combined. So I've been using, using the you gates. I think it's, uh, the, oh yeah. Oh, but there's the cool. other one that has no door on it. Uh, oh, those are called like uh, undead wall or something. Maybe who knows? I don't know. Maybe I would know. Let's browse for a quick second. Oh, there's those, those uh, big street light things, those lamps. That'd be kind of fun to use. Oh yeah. You put some ore in there if you <coughs> wanted to. Yeah, that, ore is nice and glowy. Put it's in a giant walker. It's got glowy bits. 
and as the players drive right under the walker. Oh yeah. Uh, transport. Yeah, transport. As well. Undead transport. Undead. Okay. Uh, let's see. The legs are spread out though. They're not. S well, it all walk. Right. It'll animate. It'll give you it play. should go into default animation. Yeah. <coughs> True. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> so it's like an AP. Uh, an add app. A little smaller, I guess. Well, we'll see what looks try like. to line it up on that platform, or else it'll just fall off. Well, it to, well, it's, not, it's no actual data for this. It's just going to be the uh, visuals. It's the visuals. Is so it just visuals? Yeah, it's in, it's in the actual walker unit. That wouldn't be able to oh, okay. function in here. Okay. 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 So the legs aren't good enough. We'd have to put something Let's see what happens. Let's play it and see what happens. Yep. In which case, we don't like it, we can take it back out. I put something under the legs there just so it looks like the legs are sitting on something. We'll go through the yeah. gopher because they're going to go into the animation stage. I don't think they do because it's, it's just the animated visual. character. Yeah, yeah, it has an animated one. Oh, it's okay. animated character. It'll go into idle. Okay. If I want to see what it looks like before yeah, we try and. Yeah, already did. Okay. Okay. Just okay. fell down. Oh, there he is. Oh, boom. <laughs> okay. So that's not this visual, apparently. It's called visual. <laughs> and it's not our best effort to use this. That's all right. Did it explode? Yeah, he died. <laughs> How did it die? Okay, the, the visual script has the visual has some script on it that shouldn't have, so I'll update <laughs> that for update soon. So back up here, he has a variety of scripts that shouldn't be on here. So we'll have to we'll update to him and make him more okay. more visuals only. Right, but you can still drop him in. He wouldn't blow up. No, he blew up. No, he blew up because he because he because scripts are coming. You can't stop him from yeah. that. Hmm. Not gonna happen, Greg. <laughs> All, right. All right. Where is our? There's a street now. Yeah, you can use those and then rotate one half on each side, which is what I've done before. But yeah. there's the, the opening that I used for my. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's cool to have it like. Yeah. Can, can we get like bit? the weir Fearn or one of them just like maybe sitting up on top there? Sure. Oh, there's the undead sword statue thing. Cool. Oh, yeah. There's RTS effects that are kind of nice. There. They have the forest glow, like the enchanted glow effect. That could really change up the feel of this area. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, with like the fireflies and stuff. Yeah, or it's cool. Oh, cool. Just a brief glimpse. <laughs> it looks like we need to turn it though. Turn it that way, ninety degrees. And move it back. It looks like it kind of moves itself a few places. On the X ninety. Our particle effects are only a little more important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can also scale it up, so it's gigantic in that area here, though. Yeah, you can make it like, make it like 2.0. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get in a Podbleer up here, as requested by... Uh, <laughs> maybe we're going to be a little bit bigger if we're going to see here. I don't know if we'll see it in the end part, honestly. I don't even see up here. Never. We'll try it out. We'll find out. We'll never know. We're just hanging on, just cheering out. <laughs> Uh, we also have uh, Fearn, right? Yeah. Fearn yeah, will definitely hang out with Gorg. Oh, that's opposite. Yeah, hunting Gorg from distance. You know, mm -hmm. maybe stealthy. That's true. I made uh, deer okay what, right 4x? There. Okay, make it a little bigger. That's probably too big for the car. It's two times. Nice. Stunts. <laughs> yeah, it's starting <laughs> to feel like a <laughs> small world. Mm -hmm. Right at mm -hmm. Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Yep. After all, and I haven't been on the app. Because it's fearing we have to have a. I was saying we're kind of combining some of the Disney rides together because the uh, the other one is the uh, the Cars racer, so we go through canyons and everything. Right. Route sixty six. Oh, that's what they have on our bush. There you go. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, what, it's not called bush apparently. What's it called? Uh, like plant. Brush. We like have plant. like some plant. Like like plants. Plant. Or shrubs. Plant. Shrub. 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 Vegetation. A shrubbery. True. Or just up here and. Uh, I wanted to give her a little something to hide in next year. <laughs> just see, she can't hide. She can't just see out in the open like that. It's fearing. <laughs> fearing that stealthy character. Sure. Give her a little fluff around here. Keep her stealthy. Sure. <laughs> That's great. Perfect. Stay stealthy, my friends. There you go. Play it. <laughs> see what happens. Thanks for liking the demo. Appreciate it. <laughs>
It's like half pity, half <laughs> like fifty-fifty. <laughs> Feel the awkward silence. Out. <laughs> oh, one. That's oh, it's so cool because yeah, the idol just kind of just chilling. There. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Little, uh, like yeah. Oh, this is, here. that nice. is really cool. Turn into wild. Fjord. Where the red fume grows. <laughs> nice. Oh, the weasels. Don't want to catch it. Don't slow down there. Certain death. Oh, I got burning the whole track up there, too. That's pretty oh, cool. Yeah, you can barely see. Which I'm curious if it's actually trying to go through the track at that point. Too high. <laughs> it's fine. That is awesome. Oh. Oh. And massacred. And I killed a couple of them, but they got me too. Wow. <laughs> Mutually <laughs> assured destruction. Yes. All right. Um, other than that, I think we're we're good. Though. It's yeah. Functional. We have a nice couple great. areas here. Should we publish it? Yeah, let's I publish so. it. Is, is, is it too? To that flow still too, right? Yeah. Is it too good to publish? <laughs> it, might, it might be. I don't know. All right. Now we need a better name, though. Is it uh, I think Boogle uh, Canyon? Yeah. Boogaloo. Well, this, this is one of the world. Boogaloo. 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 I like okay. that. That's uh, it. Let's save as then. Yep. What do we call? Can you spell it for me? Because I B O O G L O O P. Boogaloop. 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 Yep. Yeah. Like that doesn't. There's a boogaloop. 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 Okay, we have boogaloop officially created. <laughs> for better or for worse. I'm sorry for what we've done. For best. <laughs> for best. <laughs> uh, that's a good. I like that indicator. That's a good yeah. idea. And we're like, oh, there's fruit here. I like that. That's quite well. Yeah. All right. Let's publish it. <laughs> I hope to make a giant fruit, but it's fucking much better. Then we can make a sequel, Electric Boogaloop. Nice. <laughs> yep. All right. Oh, this will be good for some camera. All right. This so is the Boogaloop, right? This, 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 is the, this is the Boogaloop. Well, you don't want to give away the Boogaloop. I mean, you can't sell the game. <laughs> Not the first we, time. Maybe we can bear We can move him around after. So we'll take a screenshot right. there. That's a good shot. Uh, just, so just a close-up of yeah. Jesse. <laughs> There we go. It's very important to get that picture. We spent a lot of time on the spaceship. We gotta get it in there somewhere. How about let's get let's get Fjern and the spaceship in the background with with Gorg. You can do it. I want all those elements. I you can do it. You can though. you can do it. Oh, oh, that was a mistake. Ooh. Oh, that's good. yeah. Wait, back this, and then this aim looks up. exciting. I'd play this. Game. Yeah, oh, and then a little to the right so you can see the, the ship coming ship. through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That? that's great. All and right. you can see the power ups. That's great. Yeah. Take picture, dynamic. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, wait, wait, our, our new stagmite's here. It's a good part to show off, too. Oh, yeah. so you, you gotta get in the stagmite and look down at the resources. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> Eric's having a good time with this. <laughs> oh, it's kind of like, um, What is that little pizza home? sign hanging out? What? The pizza sign? You guys didn't see that? What? There's, what? there's a little pizza sign, like, float right there. See it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that, that's important. Sure. <laughs> Easter eggs. <laughs> I'm just confusing people. And there's the generator still sitting over there. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. How do you think it's all power, like you're powering all this? You yeah, need the a generator. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think we got enough screenshot. Yeah. I think we're good. We don't need more than that. We got to pick our hero shot. Well, that one, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, our best one, shot is either. We need one that says Boogaloo. Either that one or. And Boogaloo. Or the spoiler of the. That is, that is the that is the boogaloo. I guess it's the best like shot we have. It's very, the best shot. I do like that, that one. Best shot. Yep. Fall boogaloo. Yep. Yeah. Do it there. That um, kind of looks like a Christmas tree or something. Like and that. then one, yeah. Jesse. Jesse stalagmites and pizza finish pizza. it off. Just uh, so you know. Right. The initial upload. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, here so we'll call this uh, dev stream submission for yeah, design because, challenge number two. For design challenge. Number two. We don't have names for these. Off to the races. Numbered? Off, Off to, to the, the races. races. Okay, thank you. Challenge number two. Select your Google. All right. Publish. Publish preview. Perfect. This is great. The Boogaloo. Oh, well, image in there. Got Jesse's <laughs> face right there on the important yep. part. Yep. Very important. Not Jesse at all. Sorry. It's Duncan. <laughs> Duncan's face. Yep. There Duncan's face. Duncan. Cool yep. Hard. I wish that glue. Boogaloo. Like that. Publish. All right. Uploading content. And there we go. Who's this That's publishing it. under? Me. You said okay. Okay, for all of our work. Isn't Bat Cat made this. Right. I'm taking full credit mm -hmm. for this, guys. Uh, right. thank, thank you. It is now That's live. Okay. It is up there for you guys. It's all right. Right this very minute. Yeah, so you can take it, remix, work 
Yeah. Or yeah. Play it, whatever you want. Definitely not. One thing we need to expand on more is the, is the concept of the trigger is making more gameplay. <clears> things. But here's an example of how to do it. Check it out, customize it, make your awesome, crazy gameplay. First up, and type them up too. Who knows? Yeah. You change blockers, change jump, open up pathways. You can get crazy with it if you don't, if you mm -hmm. get really detailed in there. Heck yeah. So I'll share links to this in the Discord and in the description below on the video. Um, as you take on your own challenges, uh, working for the design challenge, hop into chat like on Discord and ask us questions. We'd be happy to answer them. And uh, looking forward to seeing what you guys create. Oh, that would be an interesting chat right there. So. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you, everybody.